All right, what's going on everyone? This is gonna be a little tutorial of how to use the panel on here on the website and also how to use the tool, making it, you know, work and everything else for your, for you and just everything else. I'm not getting in too depth with the tool though because of the fact that I'm mostly focusing on the panel and showing you guys how this works. It's very, very easy, very, very fast. I actually do like it a lot. But without me rambling, I do wanna say this though. If you haven't bought the tool yet, buy it. It is a must, kind of buy it. It's been worked on a lot. It's always, always getting updates. I know that kind of sucks, but it's better than not having something working on the tool, right? Also, it's very easy to go ahead and hit up people on there. As you see on here, I am technical support. So, yeah, I just got updated or upgraded, whatever you want to call it, to from support to technical support, which is pretty cool. Um, also you'll see the owners always popping online here and there. And if you live in the U S they might not be online because they are living in the UK area. So our time is different than theirs, but there's always someone online to go ahead and hit you up. If you have a problem, you would just go to the support tab on here. Don't worry how to get on chaotic 360 discord. I'll have the link below so you guys can go ahead and click on it, join in and just yeah also like i said with the buying part you want to go to the sales in a marketplace area and tag or ping the moderator and seller most likely it's chat he's always online every time i catch him he's always online and uh he'll help you from there if you have any other supporting things and whatnot we do have a ticket here which I will show in the video maybe, or I'll show it in a different kind of video, so it'll be just its own focus. But I am gonna show you guys how to set up on KI360, everything else that you need to do, so you can get on, you know, get online with the tool and mess with people, or if you want, do recoveries. Or maybe you have some games on there that actually, we uh, actually play like Grand Theft Auto or something else, and you wanna play with the, with the tools and all and you know with the mods all right without rambling along i'm gonna go ahead and do this before i fall asleep so you just bought the tool or maybe you're just getting back in it everything else hopefully you made a sign in for your uh from the panel it'll ask you to sign in it'll send you an email and you know you just do that to, to register all right that's all done and you're gonna download the uh, tool itself right here and if you need the plugins right here I use special I use a different type of plugins so I won't load up my uh, I won't overload my plugin spaces because you only get five slots so if you want I'll have another link down below for XB not XB XD RPC it is RPC is JRPC it's JRPC2 and it's XRPC. It's all together. So the tool will work. You will get an error with the tool though, but you can just inject the um, RPC2 if you want to, or you can leave it out and everything will still work. But that's just me, what I do. You can download the plugins on here and they will work too. All right, so you got everything done. Go to chaotic management. And it's gonna ask you for your hash ID or your machine ID. I'm gonna block mine out, but all you have to do is basically copy and paste. Because once you get it, the tool's gonna to look like this. You're gonna have, type in your name, type in your thing, and I have safe password so I can just go ahead and go in. For people who don't like typing in password all the time, make sure to have auto login on. This will automatically jump you into the tool oh and something new i didn't see until now because i don't really see the login screen it has a join our discord on here i hope the link actually works i have never tried it but yeah at the time of this video maybe it got updated or maybe it actually works and i don't need to do anything all right so machine id right here how to get your machine id is basically from the tool the tool is looking and grabbing your ID, which means is that I'm gonna show you mine, but it's gonna be blocked off. And uh, well, actually I don't need to. I could just copy and paste it from here. But if you want to know what your machine ID is, 
or your mesh ID, whatever it's called on here, just show it. But you can copy it from here. Oh no, I'm sorry. You will need to have to, um, you will have to actually click on it. So well, that's what we'll do. We're gonna do this, we're gonna copy it, and then we are going to paste it here. Now it's not gonna show the letters again, it'll show this. What after you're done, save. I have clicked the option to actually do this and it didn't work for me, it didn't show up on here. So that's pretty okay. Also, with your console, this is for your console only. You need to put this in here. Now for me, I have two consoles and they both work on the tool, but it may actually cause problems. I only have problems with my console because of the fact of what happened to it years ago and I need to get a new one because of my slim that I was actually hosting on a lot and going online with has actually died. I don't know how to revive it, but let's just say that I was on a server, something happened, and it died out. It didn't turn back on. That's okay. I'm going to buy a new one soon. But all in all, that's mainly it for that part. You're just going to save or uh, submit changes. After you're done, the tool is instantly updated with all the information it needs. All you have to do is log in. I'm going to put auto login on. All you have to do is log in, and this is what's going to happen on the splash screen. See it loading a lot of stuff on here. You may get an update and it may reset. If it does, just reopen up the tool again and that'll be it. My console's not found because my RGH is not on. If so, it would have been very extremely loud here. But as you see on here, we got a bunch of games on here so far. And there's more to come maybe. Who knows? We got Battlefield games. They're definitely really, really, like, you got 100% use them. I'm not going to lie to you. And this is all for 20 bucks. Except so for going on a different server, maybe it has Battlefield that you like, and spending tons of money that you can just get right here. They may have tons of options, but they don't have off-host tool that actually does work all the time. You know, who knows? Um, but yeah, they have a lot of stuff on here. If you want to, though, you can look at your information to know if you need to change your settings. Now, for people who have Wi-Fi, I recommend having Wi-Fi connection on. And if you want to go ahead, because sometimes this caused a problem with me before, and I had to go ahead and auto connection off. Sorry about my cat in the background. He's just gonna meow because he hears me talking. Um, I have all the stuff on. Save custom classes, all that stuff. Now, the big thing is, is that what I did is shut off Epic Shelter. Um, a little backstory with it. If you have it off, it won't keep rebooting your console. Now, it may not do this anymore, but when you turn the tool on, it's looking. And you have Epic uh, Shelter on, it is looking for it. If I said Epic Shield, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of something else. But it's looking for the games. I will actually cover this in a video, another video about it because the other video I made needs to be updated kind of way, I guess. I don't know, but I'm mostly saying that I'm going to focus on a website. So yeah. All right. So we're going to put this down, but that's mostly it. Um, as you see on here, I have a support tab or support on here. So your stuff is a little different than mine. But if you guys have any questions though that you are on the panel, feel free. You know, create a new ticket here and there and you know, whatever it is, if it's the panel, if it's the app itself, if it's a general support or bug, you know, it's just something on there, submit it. I'm gonna be on here a lot more than I can because since I work, it's kind of hard. I work 10 hour shift. So it's really hard. Um, but I'll be hooking around here and, uh, you know, just filling out tickets and whatnot. If you do, you know, if you're not on there and you're on Discord, I'll be on the Discord support area too, like I usually am sometimes. And yeah, that's mostly it about this video of everything else. I hope that you guys enjoyed the tool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have, make sure to share this video out. If someone else has an epic, uh, not an epic, I don't know why. I am so tired right now. 
if someone else has Chaotic 360 and they needed help with stuff and everything, or maybe you can tell them or whatever else. Also, if you guys are really cool, just drop a little like. That'd be really awesome. Maybe share it to your friends. Maybe share it to your dog. Maybe your dog will like it. Let them watch like 10 minutes of the video if I, if this is 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, that's mostly it. And I'll catch everyone later. Peace.